Well, what attracted me to this movie was mainly the script. I read it and I realized it was a theme that crosses all sorts of cultural and social borders. I think nothing like this has been done since Fatal Attraction. It sort of has, you know, it's such a powerful theme of, you know, infidelity and the perfect family and what family means to us and how, you know, just one single moment can break it all apart and destroy years and years of construction and love and foundation. So I think it's such an intense subject and it brings so many different themes that are, I think, very present in our society today that, you know, it's, it's just a very intense story. Well, Genesis is a wild heart. She's a very young, lovely girl who I think went through a lot of hardships in her life and is sort of searching for a reason and for a motive that will make her whole again. I think she's a broken girl who needs to find, who's searching for something to hold on to. And I think this game they play with Val, like who's the love of her life, her partner, not necessarily romantically, I think they're almost like sisters and they, they kneel on each other, they have each other and they have nothing else. So this game they play or whatever they do to these men, it's their only way of sort of dealing with what they had to deal with growing up. So Genesis is a very powerful, strong, but at the same time vulnerable and broken person, which is really, really hard and challenging to play. So working with Elaine Roth has been great. This is our fourth project together. The first time we worked together was in Aftershock. Um, that was directed by Nicolas Lopez, and he was producing, co-wrote it with Nicolas, and we were um, acting together, so I, that's the way I met him. Through that, Hemlock Grove appeared this TV show for Netflix, and there it was his first time direct, me, be, be, me being directed by him, and it was such a fun, giant project to be part of. Then we went on to do make, to make The Green Inferno that was produced by Nicolas Lopez this time and directed by Eli Roth, and it was such a great, crazy trip. And well, and now we're here in Knock Knock and we've sort of become this amazing family that we know each other so well that you can reach different levels that I don't think would be possible when you just go in with a new director that you don't know. You have this advantage that you know each other so well that you, he really pushes me. He gets to the limits that I don't think I would be able to get to. So it's a constant, you know, new battle for finding these emotions and feelings and bringing it all to the scene. He really is sort of, you know, like a guerrilla director in that sense of emotions. Like he's just there with you all along and will make you do things that you didn't think was possible. So, I mean, it's a, it's great to work with him and to be now, I would work with him my whole life. It's such a great experience. Working with Keanu, Keanu Reeves has been a dream for me. I mean, I grew I grew up watching his movies. I working with a with that kind of level. I mean, he's such a professional and the work we do together just takes everything to the next level. I learned so much with him. Every second I'm with him behind the camera, in front of the camera is a constant lesson and, you know, it's just I sometimes like kind of blink and I'm like, "Oh, okay, I'm doing a movie with him." Like, really it's Keanu Reeves, but in all the other ways, he's just great. He's a really cool guy, down to earth, and really, really, really takes it all the way. There's not one second that he's not there for you and you know, just, just gives it all off camera and on camera, so it's awesome to be working with. It, it makes your job so much easier.